install Arc Linux, a system that will give you total freedom to build your setup exactly the way you want it. And on top of that, we will add Hyperland, a beautiful modern desktop that feels smooth, minimal and alive. Honestly, don't worry, you don't need to be a Linux expert to follow this tutorial. We will go step by step and by the end, you will have a clean, blazing fast system that looks incredible. And the most beautiful thing about all of this is that it will be incredibly easy to set up. So we will start by going to the official Arc Linux website. We will download the latest ISO and the signature files. Pick a mirror closest to your region for a faster download. When the download finishes, open the signature file. Copy the checksum for your ISO and paste it into a new text file in the same folder of your ISO download. Now run this command and if the terminal returns OK, your ISO is clean. If it fails, the file is corrupted and then you will have to download it again. So now to make our editable USB drive, me personally, I will go with Ventoy. We just download the file via their website and the signature file. We will check the same way we did for the SO file. We will check the signature with exactly the same command. And now that you have the OK, the only thing you have to do is like extract the file. And from here, we will navigate to the directory and look for the Ventai GUI x86 and launch it. Now that it's launched, we just have to plug our USB drive and click on install. It will flash the Ventoy ISO on the it will flash the Ventoy ISO on the USB drive and from here you go to your newly USB drive flashed and everything you have to do is like paste all the ISO you want. You do not require to flash a new flash drive every time you want to try ISO. You just copy paste them on the drive and you can use it as a multi-boot USB. It's very very useful. When your pen drive is ready, shut down the computer, plug in the USB, power on and spam the boot or BIOS key. Usually it will be F2, delete or escape depending on your hardware. From here you choose your USB drive as the boot device and if everything goes well you will land in the ARC installer terminal. We will start by connecting our computer to the internet. And for this, you will just have to type IWCTL, then list your devices with the simple command device list. N take note of your wireless name. Often it will be WLAN0. And we will connect to your Wi-Fi with the command station WLAN0, connect and the SSID of your Wi-Fi. Enter your passphrase if asked, then type simply quit to exit IWCTL. Test your connection with a simple ping command and if you get replies you're online. Here is the really easy part. You just have to type arc install. It will launch the installer script and here you choose your language, your keyboard layout. You will select a mirror and a little tip here, press slash to search your country quickly. No need to scroll forever. Enable the multilib repo. You will need it later for some 32-bit packages. The disk configuration. You can choose ext4, fast and simple, or btrfs, a little slower but great for a snapshot. For this tutorial, I will choose btrfs and keep the default layout, but take note that manual partitioning is optional if you prefer. If you want encryption, pick the default LVM setup, then choose between LVM on Lux or Lux on LVM. Quick difference between those two is that LVM on Lux encrypt the whole disk first with one passphrase for all logical for all logical volumes, and it's usually recommended. Lux on LVM, in the other hand, encrypt each logical volume separately. More flexible keys, but it will need more setup. Set a strong password and double check that you selected the correct disk. Swap is already enabled, and for the bootloader we will choose Grub. Pick a host name, anything you like. 
For authentication, I recommend no root login, create your own user and add it to the wheel group. So it has the sudo write and it is safer this way. So here we will choose the minimal profile, hide the recommend starting clean. Enable Bluetooth tools, for audio select pipe wire, keep the default kernel and for networking choose network manager. In additional packages, add git, we will need it later to install Heidi. Set your time zone, review your choices, then start the installation. Take a break, Arc is working. When the install finishes, remove the USB stick and reboot the system. And congratulations, you now have a minimal Arc Linux setup ready for Heidi and Hyperland. So now that the installation is finished, we can launch again the, the computer and we will have to log in. So use the details you used for the installation. Once you're logged in, you will have to connect to the internet and for this we will use the nmcli command. And the command will be nmcli device wi-fi connect the SSID of your network dash dash ask. You put the password when it will be asked for you and then double check if your connection is established with the ping command. Now that we know that we have our internet connection, we will just update and upgrade the machine with the sudo pacman syu command and when it's done, we will be able to clone the hid repository with the git clone command and so we will just git clone dash dash depth one and then you put the hid repo url that i will provide you in the description and we will download it in the home folder so honestly just copy paste this simple command when the download is finished we will have to go to the script folder inside the hid folder so you just cd onto it and here we just have to launch the install.sh script and I will fast forward this part you will just have to put your password when it will be asked for you and anything else will be just to accept the steps and choose some preferences like your font or your terminal if you want zsh or fish it only is just personalization so you just follow the step when it's finished you can reboot the machine and you will have a fully functional desktop. For the final step, you can enjoy your new installation. And you will have to learn the different key binding to navigate in the Hyperland uh, session and by doing so, and you will just have to tape uh, the Windows key and slash to have all your key binding. You can open a new terminal by uh, Super T, a new browser by Super B, you can open your folder management folder manager sorry with the super e you can toggle full screen with super f you can have multiple windows open and it, the tiling will be done automatically you can toggle horizontally or vertically it can give you a super good workflow and you have a full uh, documentation so as you can see here you can go to the hyperland wiki and as you can see we used the pref pre-configured one we installed the Heidi one but the point here is like everything that this script does you can do it alone you can learn about it read the configuration and do it you have a lot of dot we, we call them dot files that you can modify even inside the Heidi one to make it more personalized and you can play with this and enjoy the, the rising experience I hope you like the video so if so don't forget to subscribe it is very helpful and till the next time have fun